Did you know that it's a waste of money to buy bottled water in Vienna or that locals will be super annoyed with you if you stand on the left side on an escalator? My name is Sasha and in this video I show you 10 things you should never do in Vienna. Don't go out without any care. Let us start simple and basic. Vienna is a little bit slow when it comes to new trends or this so-called technology. So most places will accept cards, but not all of them do, so be prepared. Especially the small and traditional places oftentimes don't accept cards and those are the places you really want to see. Don't use Euronet ATMs. Did you ever walk by an ATM machine and it wanted to charge you 5 euros for a withdrawal? Well, this happens in every major city, but also in Vienna. If it says Euronet on it, you're better off searching for another one. Don't buy groceries on Sundays. A really hard thing to do is go grocery shopping on Sundays because all regular supermarkets are closed. Just be aware of that. Some supermarkets that are open on Sundays tend to be more expensive and limited in their range. We put you some exceptions in the info box. Don't buy bottled water. Another easy tip to save some money is to use tap water and just refill your bottle. There are a lot of free water fountains in the inner city, so they are even accessible on the go. We happen to have one of the best tap water qualities in the world, so you shouldn't miss out on that opportunity. Prost! Don't stand on the left side on the escalator. Viennese people have the reputation for being rude. I would consider this to be wrong, but people will be super annoyed if you won't let them pass you. And they will let you feel it with sounds like or even <coughs> or if you know, you know. So walk on the left, stand on the right. Don't buy opera tickets from fake Mozarts. You will find them in front of Stephansdom or the Opera and let me make it short, it's a tourist camp. We don't want to frame anybody, but we talked to a lot of people and we did our research online and we simply cannot recommend it, since they are separate shows targeted for tourists. Locals don't go there and when we saw the prices, we were shocked. However, if you want to see an Opera show, always buy your tickets online. And if you want to save some money, I would recommend to buy standing tickets just before the show starts. Those are between 13 to 18 euros and you can usually buy them 18 minutes before the show starts in the Opera House. Our next tip is simple. Don't buy the original Sacha Torte at Hotel Sacha. I know it's tradition and I know it's the real deal, but hear me out for a second. For 8 euros is massively overpriced and I know at least 5 places in walking distance with a better alternative. It's a controversial topic, but if you would like us to make a video about this whole topic, let us know by liking this video. If you have a specific question, let us know in the comments down below so we can answer it in a future video. Don't use taxis. We already did a video about the public transport, feel free to watch it after this one, but let's sum everything up. Our public transport is very good, fast and reliable, and there is absolutely no need for using taxis. Save the money, especially if you're on a budget. Don't use Fiaka. There's another mistake you can do as a tourist, and it's the most cliché thing you can do. Fiaka fund, renting a horse carriage. Being almost as controversial as the Sachertorte, this one is even easier. Even though it's something Vienna is quite famous for, it's definitely something you can pass on. It's way too expensive and I don't know anybody who did that in the last 30 years or so. And the horses have a hard time keeping up with the traffic and the noise in the city. Don't go grocery shopping at Nashmark. Are you looking for some groceries for your Airbnb? Well, some tourist guides will tell you to go to Nashmark, but we would not recommend it. Don't get me wrong. Nashmark is a fine place to look around, have something to eat or just a drink, and you really should do that. But keep in mind that it's a very touristy place and it's quite expensive. If you really want to shop some fresh fruits or vegetables at a market, I would recommend some other places like Brunnenmarkt or Victor Adlermarkt. And as a bonus tip for you guys to save you at least 10 euros, never, ever, 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 ever use the city airport train to get from the airport to the city center. See you next time, guys.